Here I'll show you 15 Excel keyboard shortcuts that are really going to save you a lot of time. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Here I've got a table of data. Let me zoom out a little bit to show you. And then over here I've got a table of data that's actually formatted like a table. Now let's navigate around this using the first shortcut. The first shortcut is a set of shortcuts using control and the arrow key. And that helps you navigate to the end of any data table really quickly. So control down, we'll go to the very end, control to the right, all the way to the right, and so on. Now one thing to note when using this is that if there is a space, so let's say there's an empty cell here, it will only go actually to the next empty cell. So bam, and then you have to hit it again and again to go to the end of the data. But control combined with the arrow keys is a very quick way to navigate without having to use the mouse. Now combined with that shortcut, if you just do control shift, instead of navigating, it will actually select the data. So control shift arrow keys. And you can select a data table really quickly, control shift arrow key down, and then you can go to the right. You could do control shift down, and then shift arrow key to the right to select individual columns. So control, shift, and the arrow keys combined are going to allow you to navigate and select data really quickly within the workbook. So that's actually a set of keyboard shortcuts that I'm kind of combining into one because they're all very related. So quickly, once again, control, arrow key down, navigate quickly between all sets of contiguous data, if we combine that with the shift key, it will actually select everything instead of just navigating to the end. And if I use shift with the arrow keys, it'll just select the very next cell, row, or column. So shift down, we get the very next cell. And I could do that going over, shift to the right. And if I now do shift down, it'll go down. So you can select individual rows, columns, and cells that way. Combine them all to select data sets very quickly, so the entire column for data table A, then shift to the right, individual columns. Very helpful set of keyboard shortcuts. Moving on to the second keyboard shortcut, most of the shortcuts after this will be just individual shortcuts instead of a combination of them. We're going to use Control A. Now Control A is going to select an entire data table. So here if I hit Control A, it selects at least what it believes is the entire data table which in this case will include this column over here. Now if I hit it again, it'll select everything on the entire worksheet. So if I zoom out here, you can see, let's put the cursor back here, Control A once, twice. If you hit it outside of a table though, it's just gonna select everything. And we could do it inside of the table over here that is formatted as a table and it will work as expected, Control A. So Control A, just very helpful, but do note if you have some odd looking data sets that it might not select all of the data. For the next shortcut, let's select an entire row of data. Simply shift space. Notice it will select the entire row in the entire worksheet. However, if we do that with inside a table formatted like a table, shift space, it just selects the row of data within that table, not in the entire workbook. Now the next keyboard shortcut is to select an entire column, which is simply control space. And once again, as you can imagine, if you do it inside data formatted as a table, it just selects within that table. Otherwise you get the entire column in the entire worksheet. For the next shortcut, let's say you've got a lot of data and you want to go to the very end of all of that data in the worksheet. Sometimes it can be difficult or annoying to find that. All you have to do is control plus end. So control end key, and it takes us all the way over here. So it looks like there's no data here, and we're in column K, row 50. But if we scroll all the way up, you can see that the data goes all the way to column K. So it's not going to just select the end of the data of, let's say, the table where your cell is before you hit control end. It's the end of all the data in the worksheet. Control end. So you're free to do whatever you want without overwriting data in the worksheet. Now, if you want to go back to the start, you can just hit Control Home, 
and that takes you to cell A1. A little extra keyboard shortcut there. So control end to go to the end of the data, control home to go back to the very start of the data. Now, once you're good at navigating the worksheet and moving very quickly between everything and selecting the data and doing all of that, you want to move between the worksheets. So the very next shortcut is how to do that. Control page down and control page up. So control page up goes to the right, control page down goes to the left. So now you found out you don't have to touch the mouse that much to move between the data sets in the worksheet in the workbook. Now let's move to one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, which is how to repeat the very last action. Oftentimes, this comes in handy if you want to insert rows. So let's say right click, insert a row, and I want to do it again. Well, you can hit Control Y, which is the redo set of keys, and that will do that. Now I'm going to hit Control Z to take that back. You could also hit F4 if you wanted to do that. So F4 will also repeat the very last action. Now you could do that with formatting as well. So let's say I wanted to do a yellow background here. Now if I go over here, all I have to do, F4, 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 or Control Y, Control Y, Control Y. So control Y or F4 is going to redo the very last action and it makes entering data and just doing a lot of stuff in your worksheet a lot faster. Let's control Z to undo all those. Now let's move on to the next set of keyboard shortcuts, which has to do with editing the cells basically. So the quickest way to edit the cell is not to double click it. All you have to do is hit F2, hit F2. It places the cursor at the very end of the cell. Let's zoom in real quick. So F2, end of the cell, begin editing. Perfect. And that keyboard shortcut, you really, really need to know. <laughs> Do not be double clicking your cells to enter data into them. It just takes too long. It's too annoying. You don't need to touch your mouse to do it. Now, if you want to stay on that cell after you've edited it, you don't want to hit enter and have it go down. All you have to do is hit control enter. This is great if you want to do some formatting really quickly. So for instance, let's say that I wanted to type in Acme, but then I wanted to bold it. Well, all I did right there really quickly was control enter, control B. If I didn't hit control enter, it would look like this. Acme, enter, oh, go back up, control B. Okay, great. So it doesn't seem like much, but when you're working with thousands and millions of cells and you're working in Excel all day long, using control enter, so that you don't change the focus to a different cell will save you a ton of time. And it doesn't matter if you're entering a formula or text or numbers, control enter will always keep focus on the current cell. Now to the next shortcut, when you're entering data in a cell, there are times, although rarely, when you want to put data on more than one line within the same cell. For instance, let's say that you have an address and you want it to be formatted in a more readable way like this. Well, all you have to do, let's go ahead and delete that, is when you're entering data into the cell, hit Alt Enter, and that will take you to the very next line in the same cell. Alt Enter, perfect. Now let's hit Control Enter so we can keep the focus on this cell. Do note if you do this, Alt Enter, to put data on a new line in a cell that's very small, it doesn't fit the data, it can make your data set look really goofy. So you might have to play around with the formatting. I, I don't recommend using Alt Enter to put new lines in a cell unless it's really necessary. In this case, it could be used for a label. Now let me show you a great, amazing keyboard shortcut for entering lots of data into multiple cells all at once. It's going to be Control Enter just like we're using, except for it won't be used within a cell. So let me show you here. Let's say I want to change the manufacturer from Acme for the first seven to anything else. All I have to do is click it, select it, and then start typing. Let's say new corp. Now, instead of hitting enter, hit control enter, and it fills it in for everything that you selected. It's really, really great, really helpful. Now you could alternatively do this just by selecting the first cell, new corp, 
enter and then drag it down but that takes more time so select the cells where you want to enter something type it in just start typing you don't have to select the first cell and then when you're done control enter now let's move to the next keyboard shortcut here I'm going to show you how to preview a formula calculation while still inside the cell so let's go over here I've got an if statement with a VLOOKUP might look a little confusing but don't let it throw you off here if I wanted to figure out what this VLOOKUP would evaluate to before I hit enter and without going to the formulas tab and hitting evaluate formula all I have to do is to hit F9 and then it tells me that VLOOKUP is going to return 4 now one little trick with this keyboard shortcut so if I go ahead and hit enter right now and then re-edit the cell the 4 remains and the VLOOKUP is gone so let me control Z go back in here once you hit F9 to evaluate it, make sure that you hit Control Z to undo. That's only going to undo one thing that you did in the cell, though. Or what you can do alternatively, what I like to do is hit Escape to cancel editing the cell. So select the part of the cell that you would like to evaluate, then hit F9, see what it is, Escape to get out. When you have complex formulas and you've got a lot of different moving parts going on inside of it, it's really going to save you a lot of time for troubleshooting it, figuring out what's going on, why this evaluated to that, and allow you to go back to editing the formula very quickly without having to break up your workflow and open up the new window for the evaluate formula feature and so on. Now, once you have the formula exactly how you want it, let's say you don't need to keep the formula in there. You only wanted to have it for one time and get the values and now we can go about our business. In this case, we have a VLOOKUP, which gets data from this table over here and using this value here, and then figures out if there should be an issue. So let's say I figured out, okay, issue, not an issue. I wanna make the report. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select all the data really quickly. Let's use our keyboard shortcut from earlier, Control, Shift, Down. And what I wanna do is I wanna freeze these values. I don't want them to be formulas anymore. Now I've selected the data, hit, Control C, then Alt E S V. You'll see the Paste Special window and hit Enter. Now, when we go here, you'll see there are only values, no formulas, no functions, just values. Let me back that up so we have the formulas back in here, and I'll show you how you could do it really quickly. Control Shift Down, Control C, Alt E S V, Enter, Escape key, and that's it. The escape key at the end was just to get the little copy window to be removed. And it's just a paste special. So I'll show you that real quick. If we selected a cell here and hit control C, you could do the same thing by right clicking, going to paste special, and then going down here to paste values. And you could choose which one you wanted. But this is the one we did right here, paste values. Next keyboard shortcut. Let's say that I have some formatting that I really, really like. So let's say here I made a bold underline, change the background color to yellow. I really want it to stand out, and I want to apply this to other cells really, really quickly. Well, what you can do here, Control C to select that, move to another cell, Alt E S T, Enter. Another cell, Alt E S T, Enter. As long as this cell is currently copied, you can do that. The second you hit the escape key and this cell is no longer being copied, if you do that, nothing will happen. So select the cell with the correct formatting, control C, Alt E S T. Paste special window will show up just like for the copy paste values. Then hit enter. Now, side note, if you'd like to learn more about the paste special, just copy a cell, right click, and instead of going over here to paste special, go down here and click the paste special button so you can see the paste special window. Now you can see all the ways that you can paste formulas, values, formats, comments, validation, etc. And we just use keyboard shortcuts to access this window very quickly. So once again, control C, then alt EST, enter, bam. Now I'm going to hit Control-Z to remove this formatting. 
Now let's move to the very last keyboard shortcut, and that is going to be how to automatically fit a column to the data that's in it. So if I go over here, I've got some notes, and you can see it overlaps the very next column. Now if I wanted to make that column bigger, I could go up here and adjust it, blah, blah, blah. But you can use a keyboard shortcut to make life easier. Alt, H-O-I. Now do note, I'm going to hit Control z here. It will only fit the column to the data of the cell that you have selected. So if I select this cell here, Alt, H-O-I, notice that it worked for this cell, but these two cells still overlap. So it doesn't fit for the entire column. If you want to do that, let's combine it with a keyboard shortcut we learned earlier. You can hit Control space alt hoi then it's going to fit it for everything in the column so you can see that keyboard shortcuts and combining what we've learned here in this video tutorial is really going to speed things up a lot control space alt hoi bam and that formatting keyboard shortcut is the last keyboard shortcut for this tutorial before you go if you look down here you can see the data tab that's where we've been working the address tab for the Alt Enter to add a new line in the cell and the Shortcuts tab. This lists all the shortcuts that we went through today. So in case you think you're going to forget them, you don't always have to go back to this video. You can download this worksheet and you can just look at the keyboard shortcuts and save them. And that's what I really recommend doing is having a little worksheet to save these or somewhere where you can go back and revisit them. Because initially you might not remember it, but once you start using it more and more after a few days, you're going to remember these keyboard shortcuts and it's going to be a lifesaver. You're going to have so much more free time once you start using these. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.